Hello, welcome back to Kerno EXP. There's a biker coming behind you. So today we're here on this old disused Cornish railway line. We are we are here with Mrs. Kerno EXP. Hello, Mrs. Kerno EXP. How are you? I'm all right. Excellent. Have we suffered the storm without any damage? I don't know about that. <laughs> Come on, folks, let's go. Uh, right, so today we're doing a walking video. So welcome back, folks. I hope that none of you have suffered any damage from the last few days, and especially last night here in the southwest Cornwall. So. We're on the old Chase Water Tanuki Branch Railway line. It's now called the Saints Way, I believe. And we have been here before, but me and wifey finished to work early today because we work at the same place. Can't really say where that is, can we? For various reasons, but... Uh, so we decided that it's sunny, folks, and we need to be out and we need to be filming again so that's what we're doing this is what we're here for so last time I came here I did put some stickers around I think uh, the sticker pirates have uh, prob probably removed them I should imagine uh, it would be nice to think that it's still there no the sticker pirates have removed them so we'll have to shoot the pirates folks we're gonna walk as far as we can we do have the drone with us so we are hoping that we can get the drone up. Um, so we shall see. But anyway, today is a walking video. We're now approaching the actual original track bed, which you can just make out there, folks. That is the original alignment right there. And we're just about to join onto that, which is rather good. It does a bit, doesn't it? I was hoping we might get down there, but possibly not. Possibly not. Right. So we're out again on Friday, filming another walking video with Mrs. Kernow. And tomorrow night, I'm out with David at an old barn to do a bit of a chat to start with, and then a drone flight afterwards, folks. So, yeah. So we're now approaching, we're actually on the track bed right now. This is the original alignment just here. And here's a viaduct. I think this is one of two viaducts on this former Great Western Railway branch line. So we're heading in the, so if, if we were to go up high, which we will do, but not now, um, there's another station up ahead called Goon Havern and then beyond that there's another station which is a junction branch called Shepherds. Now Shepherds um, was a station of course but also it was a branch line that went off that and it was called the Triamble branch folks. Now the Triamble branch was freight only and it was the only branch freight line that came off this line if you know what I mean. It's quite an interesting one. I think I'm going to have a chat with the farmer up there at some stage to see if we can uh, gain permission to walk down part of the old Triamble branch, folks, which I think would be brilliant to be able to do that. So we might have to break filming in a minute because these folks may not want to be on camera. So anyway, back in a moment. OK, folks, so this is the viaduct here. There's Mrs. Kernow, and it looks like the sticker pirates have removed our stickers from here, no. which is not terribly good, is it? No. Right. So we're just going to see if we can look up above and below. It's quite nice, isn't it? So we'll just move along and then over to here. Now, have our stickers been removed from this side or no? <laughs> So I do remember putting them on here. Yeah. 
Huh? <sighs> Bloody swines. Right, we're gonna have to put some back. Here, can you hold that? Just just hold it. Don't do anything with it, just hold it. Right. Do we have any bugger? No, I don't. I don't have any with me, unless I've got some in the drone bag. Bear with us, folks. Bear with us. I don't know if... Ah. Got one. One of the old ones. There we go. At least we've got one here now. There we are. Right, folks, so if you come down here, then you know where to look. Let's just hope the sticker thieves don't uh, steal them, because we don't like that. Sticker thieves. Sticker pirates. Right, OK. Let's continue walking. I try not to get people on camera, but sometimes you just can odds it, folks. So following Mrs. Kurno. Following Mrs. Kurno. Right. There we go. A lot of people don't like to be on camera. We've not really had much confrontation, but it does happen. <coughs> right, so we're going to walk up as far as we can. And then we're going to get the drone up and we're going to send it down through. Hopefully, that is, if the weather, the wind doesn't uh, cause any issues, eh, Jenny? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I remember coming here with um, that other chap years ago and we got up to the bridge up here and this woman came out. She said, excuse me, do you realise this is private property? I said, oh, is it? I thought it belonged to the railway. <laughs> That's quite sarcastic. Right, so back in, I think it was the 60s, this line was um, ceased. Um, I'm not sure if it's a direct result from Dr. Beecham Axe. Uh, it could be... I do know that the Red Roof C Council, Jan, they tried to they tried to save this line, but um, British Railways at the time, folks, they decided that uh, right at the last minute they upped the asking price, and of course um, Redruff Town Council at the time had the money ready to go, but right at the last moment they actually decided, oh no, no, we'll we'll, we'll charge them a bit more. And therefore, they, they couldn't raise the extra money, folks, and therefore this line is now like this, you know. It would have been nice to be able to say that this was another preserved railway line. I would have loved to have seen that, but uh, this is how things pan out sometimes, isn't it, folks? Anyway, should we continue with our walk? So how's Mrs. Kurnow today? Mm -hmm. You still feeling a bit tired from work? Not too bad? No. Not too bad. Not too bad. So me and Mrs. Kerner have got a special anniversary coming up, folks. Um, we, we, we have been married for 10 years on this Sunday, which is quite a milestone really, isn't it, folks? We've been together as a boyfriend and girlfriend since 2001, and then 10 years ago, I, asked Jennifer there to marry me, and she said, yeah. So we, I had to go and ask her dad, folks, which is like tradition, isn't it, Jen? Yep. So what do you think about the last 10 years then, Mrs. Jenner? It's gone quick. Yeah, isn't it? Am I a good husband or am I a bit crap? You're a very good husband oh, and a good, good dad. And a good dad, yeah, yeah, because we've got a son together. Charlie, he's a good lad, he is, isn't he? Yeah, and I've yeah. school in a Yes, days. finishing school soon. Don't want to say too much about that. No. Oh, wow, look. That is amazing. Look at that. That's a piece of railway infrastructure. Do you know what that is? That's a mile post. 
the railways folks are measured in chains so it's 18 chains stroke and those three marks there so not really sure what the three marks mean but you know I am associated with a railway so I should know that really but it is to do with the the length of chains from I think it's 18 miles from Chase Water isn't it it's got to be but that's amazing to see that wow absolutely amazing you know it's just nice to see that still there right so let's uh, continue shall we yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I do remember when there was talk about uh, this trackway here the Saints Trail actually going ahead but uh, obviously it did cost quite a bit of money to create this it would have been nice to bring it all the way back to St Agnes area really but obviously the amount of cost and all that you know a lot of money isn't it just really nice now isn't it yeah. it's going to be a nice walk back as well yeah down like all yeah, I think the original track bed is down there actually but let me know when you want that drink I've not walked up this part before, I don't, I don't recall coming up here. I do think there is a, a bridge, there's a bridge somewhere. We'll see if we can get up to the bridge folks and then we'll start backtracking then. So Thursday and Friday and Saturday this week, the weather is meant to improve even more, folks. It's about time, really, because we've had a guts full of this horrible, wet, windy, rubbish weather. I think, I think we're all on the same page, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. You got a rocket up your bum or something? Mm -hmm. Bloody hell, slow down. Jeez. Boots are made for walking, yeah. and that's what they'll do. <laughs> <coughs> I guess a bridge here, like, okay. I think. Am I right or wrong? Oh, no. Hey? Eh? Very yeah, I know. I like it. I wonder why they got a fence there, look. It's a bit odd. There's a bridge there, look. There we go. So we're now approaching the bridge. So we're, we're on high ground right now. Can you imagine the trains back in the day chugging along here? That would have been magic, wouldn't it, eh? Oh, yeah. So there's the bridge, folks. Look at that. And there's the road down there, look. There's a road down there. See that? Pretty cool, huh? You can tell they're railway, railway bricks on top, look. Yeah. Coping stones. It's definitely had a repointing and what have you. Yeah, all good. All right, we're going to continue for a bit more. And then we shall... Uh, attempt to get the drone up the drone flight will have to be done in stages folks so we'll see how we get on with that now i did walk along this bit here ages back uh, when they were constructing this it's a long time ago probably a couple of years ago so hopefully the wind noise is not affecting you too much folks so let us know um, do you enjoy these walking videos we do because uh, obviously I do enjoy walking don't you yeah. yeah it seems that you folks like it so uh, drop a link in the comments if you enjoy the walking videos with us 
and a little bit of drone flying at the end and a little bit of the history of uh, said location. So, oh, there's a sign there, what does that say? Keep... Keep out. Keep out. Right, okay. So somebody doesn't want anyone going on their land. Civil trespass anyway. We've got another psycho list. There's a new bridge up here. Uh, oh, there's another sign there. What does that say? What does it say? Yeah, right. What it really means, folks, is urbexers welcome. That's what it really means. Yeah, that's what it really, really means. Urbexers welcome. So what have we got? Some kind of gate here. There's another old shed down there. Ooh, that looks uh, intriguing, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. Well, them putting signs up, right? That makes me want to go in there and have a nosy. <laughs> what they got to hide? We're not going to do that, folks. I'm just talking out my... Uh... Oh, look. Private property. CCTV. Oh, look, the original ballast, folks. Look at this, look. That's the original ballast there from when this was the railway line. And uh, looking down there, there's even more. So why would they go to the length of putting a frigging girt, girt big sign like that there? You know. And what the hell's down there anyway? That's, that's what it says, doesn't it? It, it kind of draws you to it. Do you know what I mean? Keep out. There's loads of signs there, look. It's a bit overkill, that is. I bet you, I bet you, the people that own that objected about this path being here. They must have done. Seeing they're like that, they must have done. Bloody people, I don't know. Put a bloody fence up if you don't like people there, innit? Bloody morons. Let's go across the bridge, folks. Oh, must have cost a bob or two to put this in. I actually remember when before this was actually finished. I know where it goes. I don't know how far I want to go up here today. That's the only thing. But I do want to get that drone up, though. So I think I think it might be an idea. To go for just a little bit further up and then get the drone up from there and just buzz it around this bridge and that because it is a bit blowy so we might get a bit of uh, wind resistance <laughs> oh, there's a seat there look so that might be a good spot right folks so we're going to attempt to get the drone up now so see you in a bit folks
Okay, folks, so we're going to walk back now and we're going to film this. And hopefully, and hopefully don't step in dog shit. I don't step in doggies do do because I've just stepped in a load. Uh, and you know what they say, shit for luck. Well, let's hope it does get give me some luck because that was horrible. <laughs> right, back over the bridge. So, done a bit of droning around here. And now we're heading back to the viaduct to do. A little bit around there because there's an old engine house down here I think it's a pumping engine house and uh, it's quite an old pumping engine house so we've got a helicopter coming in <coughs> good job we're not flying the drone right now oh there's the bin right there you go folks look current EXP leave no trace there you go look because you've got it trained well haven't we <laughs> so we've got a helicopter not sure where he is I know that. That could that be police one? It does sound quite loud, doesn't it? Yeah. Can we see him? Oh, there he is. No, it's a private one. It's a private one, Jen. So, yeah. Could that be some celebrity or something like that? Who knows? Right, so let's continue walking. And, uh, Let's hope dirty dog owners will pick up their shit, because that was disgusting. Bloody hell, I'm going to have to use a stick to clean that out. <laughs> it's quite a busy area, isn't it? didn't expect it to be this busy, really. So we are enjoying the good weather right now, aren't we? So, anyway, let's uh, carry on. Right, folks, so uh, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions you would like to see walked or filmed, please uh, drop us a line. You can do it in the comments section. You can do it on our Facebook page. You can do it on our Instagram page. And you can send us an email. And you can do it through the TikTok that we've uh, managed to get back up and running again. So if you have any suggestions, just uh, let us know. We don't bite. And uh, we do take uh, comments nicely and well. So, yeah, if you want to get involved, then let us know. And uh, we'll go from there, basically. So, on the way back down towards the viaduct. Quite an interesting viaduct because it's quite a, a low one it's not a high viaduct like a lot of them were so you can imagine uh, would have cost the railway company the Great Western Railway a lot of money to make the viaduct I should imagine the stone was quarried um, close by here they wouldn't have uh, traveled very far with that so yeah so Mrs Kurnow do you have any Suggestions that you would like to go and walk and film? Not like that. Not like that. I can't think off my head. You can't think off your head. Right, okay. So why is that then? I don't know. You don't know? Oh, God. Women folks. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so where do you think I must have stepped in that? I haven't got a No, it's not horrible, isn't it? God. Yeah, mind that. Well, if you step in that, it's meant to be good luck. Or well, step in any of it, it's meant to be, so they say anyway. But who knows? Right. So, what we're going to do now, in, well, in a moment, folks, is we're going to stop uh, near the end of the viaduct, so the, the closest to the end that we approach now. And we will get the drone up again. And that will be the end of the video, I think. So, I hope you... Uh, have enjoyed this one we've only basically this was like spur of the moment thing because obviously we finished work and uh, 
early today and uh, it was like last minute decision, wasn't it? Yep. So that's why we're out now. Uh, we didn't really plan to do this today, so, but sometimes, you know, the ones you don't plan the most or plan a lot or whatever, they usually go quite well, don't they? So, yeah. Anyway, I'd just like to thank um, the new subscribers that have subscribed of late. So we thank you for that. You're not going to be disappointed. We do do a lot. Um, we're going to be out again tomorrow night, tomorrow evening with David, hopefully, um, at a secret location to have a little chat with you if we can get a signal and um, paranormal investigation at this very old barn, which... Uh, I can't really, I can't kind of say where that is for various reasons. So yeah, I hope you're going to enjoy that tomorrow night. We should be live, providing on signal folks, about 9.30pm. Um, it's going to be bare bones job. It, it'll, it'll probably be a couple of seats, no table, um, basic brew kit, just basic, basic stuff because we don't want to carry too much kit if we can help it. So that'll be the last uh, paranormal until the week after. And we're gonna try and cut them down a bit now because um, when the weather improves, folks, we don't really wanna be hiding away in a shed somewhere. We wanna be out filming some good locations. We have got a urbex coming up. We found an abandoned property so me and the crew will check that out also soon we've got our annual fry up we was going to do it this weekend but the crew were busy folks so we couldn't do it so um but yeah we're going to be doing that we're going to do a little bit of recording on that you're going to see some faces you haven't seen for a while so that'll be cool so yeah all good Well, so this is the end of the video now, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. We're literally at the end of the line, as you can see. Out. Indeed. So we are going to end the video now. So um, we are on right now the old Chasewater to Newquay branch railway line, formerly the Great Western Railway. And of course, later on, it turned into British Railways Western region. So, me and Mrs. Kerno are here, and we're going to be back out again later this week. So, this is the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed it. So, Mrs. kerno has got to say... Folks, if you like to like and subscribe, it's for free. It's for free! It's free. Well, See you next time, folks. Cheers and gone! Cheers and